What's going on guys, I'm the Gaming Indian and here we are. State of DK2, 25 minutes of 4 player co-op, finally released by IGN in its IGN first series. And we are, every day we are getting closer to State of DK2 and I cannot wait for this. So I have actually watched a few minutes of it but then I stopped and decided you know what, I want to do a live reaction, not a, exactly a live reaction but an honest reaction while I'm watching the gameplay footage. So I have watched it just a few minutes and let's get into it i'll try not to talk when these guys are talking but these guys talk a lot so i may actually pause the video or something and if you want to watch this you can obviously go to ign and see the whole video this is just my opinions on the things i'm seeing okay let's go uh let me raise the voice a little bit don't want it to be too much this is still unpolished as they say as they said, like this. Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined by Brandon Tyrell. Hello, hello. And welcome to IGN First for March 2018. And we are very stoked to be covering State of Decay 2 all month long. Brandon, this is the first time anybody's seen proper gameplay from this game. We have the unique chance to go up to Undead Labs in Seattle to play it. And this, we're starting with the thing everybody's always wanted in State of Decay, four-player co-op gameplay. That's right, that's right. I mean, you and I got the opportunity to go up there, go hands-on with the game, both co-op and single player. Um, this is one of our, our takes. Uh, you know, I believe this is the second time we all banded together to play some co-op, um, and we're cutting back and forth between our different viewpoints. We, uh, the guys were kind enough to, to play the other two roles for us. Um, but this is it, man. This is the co-op that, you know, everybody's wanted in State of Decay since the original. Yeah, we've got uh, me, we've got you, we've got Richard Fogey, the design director, and we've got Travis McLean, one of the designers at Undead Labs, manning each of the four players here. Uh, so that's wow. you, you'll see each ev everybody's name in the side of the screen. And uh, we want, so we wanted to just a couple quick housekeeping notes. We're not going to talk over this whole thing. There's a ton of gameplay, we want to let the game do the talking. But as this gets ramped up, uh, the game is obviously not done yet. They've still got a couple more months of polish, though. And certainly, in my opinion, what I played, uh, it's already more polished. A lot, you know, that, that classic State of Decay jank. I hate to say the word classic with that. But it's definitely been greatly reduced. It's running on a new engine. It's a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. And we are playing, what you're seeing here is on uh, some pretty nice high-octane PC. That's so right, running right. really well, looking really great. We did not get to see it running on an Xbox One uh, or S or X. So we'll, we'll have to see how it turns out on the console, but a lot of confidence based on what we've seen so far here on PC. That's right, and um, I mean, if you notice a difference in the darkness or, or, or the contrast of the different perspectives, um, some of us were playing with slightly different gamma settings, so you know that, that it can account for that. And um, I, I guess I just want to also call out that State of K2 is in, in the whole series is really about building a shelter, building your community, you know, really uh, creating a, a community of people and working, striving toward improving and staying alive. We're not focusing on any of that this time around. This is just the minute-to-minute -minute side quest stuff, um, taking out some, some plague hearts, which are a new we'll mechanic. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about that later on. Um, but th we're really just, you know, going, going through, the, uh, going through the, the gameplay that you'll find um, when you jump into the game. Yeah, you'll see plenty of, uh, plenty of sort of survival role-playing bits here, but this, you're going to see a lot of action with four players. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's uh, let, let's just let the game do the yeah. talking a little bit, and, and we'll check back in with you to talk Plague Hearts here in a minute as uh, you're setting off some fireworks to draw some zombies out to make that house easier to raid. Yep, let's get out of here. Enjoy the video. Do you guys see how the zombies were moving? Like, I think this th this zombie's gonna move in the. Okay, the movement is looks really good. Like really, I, earlier I, I know I said that it looks jumpy and whatnot. It looks really good. Like I feel it. Like that they're moving. Also, did you see how the armored Z's head came off? Not the head, but the helmet came off. And look at what they're doing. This is sort of charging. Beautiful. The grenades and stuff. Ooh, ooh. What is this guy doing? Wow. Wow. Everything I've seen so far, <laughs> even though they say it's not polished. Ooh, did, did, did you see that zombie running? What, is that a zombie? Is that a human being? Whoa, what the heck was that? Looks really good, really, really good. And they're intentionally showing the part that is not as relevant because, as he said, uh, it's more about base building and whatnot. Sniper, sniper. Ooh, oh my 
god i'm getting goosebumps all these buildings look very familiar don't they like they are exact same things with a uh, better better quality and i was i was thinking i was going to get disappointed with this but i'm actually very happy like oh my god and i said this before in one of my gameplay videos that i would not mind if they just remade the state of dk game original one uh with better graphics and stuff and some new mechanics so yeah this will feel the same but obviously uh, there is a lot of differences who like this new whole thing whatever it is although they have limited the backpack oh the backpacks are already limited uh, <laughs> i'm just too excited to think clearly right now even though i said that this will be honest or whatever Ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, dude, fuck. <laughs> oh, so that's the rucksack. Looks very rucksacky. For lack of a better word. Look at look at this. How they charge at you. Nice. Now they were talking about playing this on a hardcore computer. I I don't have a hardcore computer, so let's see. Later to that day. All right, we fast forwarded a little bit here in our playthrough because we played for a long time. <laughs> we got plenty more to show you this month. Uh, we're gonna go check out the plague hearts, which are a new element of State of Decay 2. Uh, Brandon, it is basically they're almost little instances. If you yeah. want to kind of use an MMO term, uh, they don't pop up randomly. They're all over the map, and uh, you want to clear each of them out to sort of help gain control of an area and just free it of danger a little bit, make it a little safer for you and your group to traverse. That's right, they're, they're part of a new mechanic called uh, the Blood Plague in State of Decay 2, which is, you know, what's worse than a zombie? It's a zombie with a sickness. Yeah, you, <laughs> so see, that, you see that meter above the, that, that we just cut away from, one of the characters had a little bit of Blood Plague there above your mini-map on the left side, you'll see it on some of the characters. And these are, these are those Blood Plague zombies that are really, you know, if they hit you, they yeah. bite you, you, uh, you sort of gain this sickness until you have the, bud, the Blood Plague, excuse me, um, and then, you know, it's only a matter of time you have to cure yourself before you die. And the only way to cure yourself is to take out, uh, is to find these samples, uh, which you can always get if you take out one of these, the Plague Hearts. It's this sort of swirling, pulsating mass of zombies that, uh, uh, y you know, it, it's sort of got this um, effect around the area. You see the sort of miasma of, of red there. Yeah. And um, lots of lots of Plague Zombies all, all It around. lures a lot of zombies, so these are, these are difficult little scenarios which I was able to uh, bring Molotov cocktails to a couple <laughs> times, which helped. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll step away here, let the game do the talking, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Enjoy the game. All right, I have a thought. Uh, this blood plague thing they were talking about is has actually been done before, and it was done in a really beautiful game, which would have been my favorite game. It is a really good game, but the only issue I have with it is like a personal thing. It's a top-down game. Uh, it's called The Survivalist. If you want to check it out, please do check it out. The uh, the whoever developed the game, I actually requested if I could post a video, and he was kind enough to actually reply back. So I I I like. I enjoyed that and this blood plague thing was actually in it and I think they, uh, he called it something like you catch the virus of sorts so this is exactly the same thing well not entirely exactly but um, like uh, there's a few differences but you know sort of the same mechanic and that game you need to check that game out that game is beautiful like it does a lot of things that in state of decay does but in that game you can farm and do other things as well so i suggest you guys check that game out even though it's really old and the problem is it's a top down that's why i don't play it too much otherwise if it was like this it will probably be better than state of decay to be very honest like i'm taking i'm taking very, mm, a lot of liberties here by saying that but i mean it's it's a really good game so let's talk about state of decay let's get back into it but this blood plague thing is kind of similar to that that reminded me of this. What was that? Didn't see it. Okay, so she's infected. She doesn't have any health. What is that zzz thing? Tired, I think. He has the blood plague as well.
licenses. Hunted them. Stop, drop, and roll. I'm guessing these red eyed ones are the. infected ones. I can't even speak freely now because of YouTube's policy. And one day I do want to get like monetized videos and stuff. I can't s <laughs> say a lot of things that I want to say. Yeah, it's okay. There are a lot of kids on YouTube so if they want to make the site kid friendly it's understandable. Uh, I do feel restricted though. Like a lot of restrictions. <laughs> And I do not want them to split this up because they could like split YouTube up like they have for gaming. Uh, I don't I don't go to gaming dot YouTube. It's uh, because I don't just watch gameplay videos. I watch other videos as well. So this plague thing. I thought they will start they will start talking by now, but they haven't. Uh, so this plague thing is nice and I actually did enjoy these few things I, I I don't know if they took it from survivalist or they came up with it by themselves but this is a really good mechanic it kind of puts this you know you're not it doesn't become mundane uh, going around killing zombies blah, blah, blah. this thing this thing I like this thing and I don't know how much it affects the control or whatever they were talking about the control on the area how that works and they said that this is an MMO that's very interesting because recently, only recently I've started playing MMOs and I am enjoying them and I can see why people enjoy them. So this guy was the one who called. Okay, maybe the red-eyed zombies are not all the blood infestation or whatever they were called. Zombies. What was the disease called? I forgot. See, I'm very forgetful person. I'm a very forgetful person. And uh, I think I have to repeat this again. This is not scripted. Thank God you were here. I'm right behind you. Is this b uh, black orange? Oh, okay, okay, no, no. That's post production. I was thinking that nameplate and whatnot, the name tag and the designation underneath that's also part of the game. <laughs> it shows you something. Then I realized that it's like done in post production by IGN. Nice choice of colors. Pretty much exactly the same models. I don't mind. So there are army pe personnel. Wonder if you will see any people from the last game. That would be pretty cool. Doubt it, but you know, maybe who knows. Maybe there's a cameo of some sort. Look at these. Look at the movement of the zombies. My god, I love it. I'm running out of fuel. Oh, look at that. Oh, so it does include black and orange. I love it. So we're going to pop back in here again to talk about a transition. We've just jumped forward a little bit farther into the night of our playthrough. Um, you know, we played for a long time, so we're trying to trim this down as best as possible. But now you can see night in State of Decay 2. Again, it has a full day-night cycle. And Which is longer than in the first game. It is, yeah. Us. And night in State of Decay 2 is a much more uh, fearsome proposition than uh, in the first game. Yeah, the, uh, the zombies are obviously not happy at nighttime, <laughs> <laughs> and you really can't see. Like, this is not your screen that you're looking at right now. The game is dark by design. Uh, the, the developers of Undead Labs were telling us about how, you know, a lot of games, nighttime is actually more bluish, so that you specifically can, by design, see what's going on, right. even at night. Right. But in State of Decay 2, you know, it's this rural setting. It's the zombie apocalypse. They want it to feel very dark, like you're actually out in the woods where you can barely see your hand in front of your face at night. Uh, and it leads to, 
you know, it's it's not a horror game, but there is a lot more tension and a lot more danger at nighttime. It's this claustrophobic feel, and and you'll see a little bit later. We're driving in a car. It really feels like there's this dome around you that you can see, and it's not that far. It's 10, 15, maybe 15 feet. Yeah. And so that leads to some interesting situations where you don't see things coming down the road, or you don't see d uh, obstacles or debris that you have to swerve to avoid. But overall, night is a very uh, is a very bad <laughs> bad place to be caught out in in State of Decay 2. But we're going to jump out again, uh, let you keep watching the video, and uh, chime in again. I love this nighttime thing. Although, I'm not a big fan of making the player blind. But, let's see, let's see what it is. Are you going to take the car? Yes. Yes. The Red Rally Hashback alternative. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's actually very, ex looks exciting. Oh, oh. Oh, he was too slow, that's why he didn't break it. Oh, nice. Or maybe you can't break this one. Oh, you can. Okay, I I, I am liking this nighttime thing. Because that, you know, that brings, in, brings back that feeling of like, this, there's an apocalypse going on. You might die anytime if you make the wrong choices. Infestation clear clearing, I think. Clearing infestations. My god. I'm sorry, I'm too excited. I like the variation in the clothing as well. Like, a lot of variation. I like it. You have to understand that the first one was an arcade game. It was not as big. So, over the map. You have to turn on your torchlight that w uh, and then when you turn on the torchlight the zombies get attracted to you. I like that. I like that a lot. Can five people put fit into this car? Alright, one of our favorite things. Uh, we, we're not, this is not a bug. <gasps> we're doing this on purpose, <laughs> opening our car doors. Uh, we're just having fun here, but it's so dark you never know when a zombie's gonna pop up. Uh, you can, of course, smack the zombies with an o with your open door, and it's fun in multiplayer because you can all open the doors. Yeah. And we we're kind of doing a little door dance for a little bit trying there, to, trying to sync up, <laughs> really a <laughs> symphony of sounds. Yeah, so it, it's car. just a fun little thing. Uh, I just wanted to point it out that's that it, you know it never gets old with your friends yeah. with that. All right, well that's it. We're gonna let uh, the rest of this finish out, and then we will chime in at the end and let you know uh, about all the stuff we've got coming up uh, right here on IGN. What is this red mist? Also, I mean, I don't want to say this, but ah, okay. Uh, but uh, I mean, these whoever came f from IGN to record all of this, uh, they obviously have done their homework, but they are not like veteran players or anything like that. You can clearly see in the way they are playing this game. Nothing bad. Just I'm I'm just saying that the way they are playing it's. And as you can see, even though these players, these guys have not played the game for probably a very long time, like State of Decay, like the IGN guys, but they've gotten used to it so quickly. So that's a really good. Oh wow, look. Oh wow, did you see that when he turned the flashlight off? It went dark. I like that. I like that a lot. Does that even do anything? It, I know it doesn't do anything. The emotes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. Damn man, the biggest and the best thing about this game will be, which I forgot in the trailer, uh, trailer analysis, will be co-op I cannot believe I forgot about the co-op like even if they had remade the original game and put co-op into it it would have been insanely fun and 
with the new graphics and everything a lot of new things like small minute little things have been done and i i'm really enjoying it i mean obviously a lot of <laughs> big things have been done as well but the i'm enjoying the little things a lot more this guns the way the zombies are moving the variation in clothing yeah those things and this night time thing <laughs> satisfying crunchy sounds is this car silent god damn these broken cars in the middle of the street i do not like them oh they haven't talked about mods have they i mean <laughs> why would you just the game hasn't even been released and i'm already i'm already thinking about a few mods i don't know which engine they are using maybe i should check it up look it up Where is that? I think that's the infestation, the red blob thing. Or maybe it's the blood lust, but the, what did you call it? Blood something. Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. Plague zombies, okay. I like the new sounds, creepy. I think that red mist is something that leads you to the nest or whatever it is. Bloater coming in, bloater coming in. Watch out. Oh my god, I love that. It's not just fart anymore, it's like one of those leaky farts which lets out a little bit of shit as well. There goes the monetization options. Oh, oh, <laughs> someone died. That's nice. I did not did not think they would include that. Damn. Funny how most <laughs> developers can't play their game properly. <laughs> I've seen these guys play and well they aren't bad but they're not good either I'm sorry <laughs> obviously they're actually doing the work oh there it is bombs bombs come on drop some grenades I, mean, I don't think they have grenades and if you shoot you attract zombies this undead demo person did that. Oh wow. I want to listen to headshots. Ooh, are there headshots? I haven't seen any headshots though. That would have been awesome if they included headshots. The crunchy sound that headshots make, I love that. This person is doomed. Be careful death is permanent, you lose this character forever. <gasps> yes. That's what okay, we like. A lot of people stop playing when they lost of one of their characters. And I've seen a few new pe people who like kept playing with the same. Nice. I like the throwing mechanics as well, the way they threw. Potential resources area searched. Ooh, I like that. That's very helpful because I remember, like, oh, I, this always happens. I forget which room I've searched and which I haven't. So I'm basically running in and out of the same room sometimes. Like, after years, it's been improved, but. 
know, both Ryan and I are very excited, both having uh, gotten the opportunity to play State of Decay 2. The day flew oh, by. It's already Seriously, over. Like, no joke. It, I was just like, wait, how long has it been? <laughs> I love this game. Um, and I love the first one. Yeah. This so one just feels like it's bigger, better, more. Like, yeah. it's, it's a sequel in the fairly traditional sense, but I mean that in a very complimentary way with regard to this game. That's right. I mean, the core and the heart of what made that first game so great is still alive here. Um, on Unre Unreal Engine now, you know, more polished, looking better. On a um, powerful console powerful and PC. Console or PC. Uh, but yeah, we're very excited to be able to show it off to you, and thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, I've got... Uh Hi guys, so I think I'm gonna call this part right here guys. I did I didn't even like realize it was twenty five minutes were done because when I started I was thinking my god this will be a big video and my god I can't believe that it's already done. Uh, can't wait for them to release more if you do wanna see because uh, I think IGN is doing all the press coverage for these guys. Like the journalistic coverage, I don't know what to call it. So they will they have all the footage and, and whatnot new news about these guys. So I suggest you like keep an eye on these guys. Uh so yeah. Also keep an eye on my channel as well because I will be copying everything they do. <laughs> so that's what happens on YouTube. Come on. Uh we all know that. Like uh, one person picks up a news and then everyone does the same thing. Whatever. Uh so yeah. I am this is the first time we've seen any gameplay footage and I'm just I am I just want to get my hands on it like seriously I'm loving it and this la nighttime thing that they showed it will like pull you into the game a lot more and the way the zombies are moving it's a bit creepy because they charge at you and the and that too in a like a weird way like aggressive way I like that I like that a lot new cars they look a little more a little, uh, quite a bit more detailed and as I said the engine is like new uh, been uh, made better but I do not like that every time they say talk about having a good PC because I, I don't have a good PC so let's see what happens uh, I hope you guys all, all of you guys that want to play this game have put in the your pre-orders so yeah I will be doing that in a few so I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Whatever. I don't know what to call it. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then guys. Take care. And as always. Take it easy.